Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to see how to install the XFCE 4.18 desktop environment on the FreeBSD 14.0 release. Okay, uh, June 2nd, I have installed the FreeBSD 14.0 on my basic laptop. Okay, without uh, XFCE desktop environment. So afterwards i have followed the official document which is provided in the uh, free bist portal okay i have followed the exact step what they have given then after i am able to get the xfce desktop environment but it is not uh, complete gui based so we have to install the additional packages to get this complete xfce desktop environment okay so this is the command to install the xfce then after I have added the proc fs details in the fs tab okay then we have to add the dbus dbus uh, we have to enable the dbus at the time of boot this one also I have followed then after to start the xfce I have installed the packages called light tm and light tm gdk creators so then after we have to enable it in rc.conopel so it will get started at the time of boot okay i have followed the same step what they provided it's worked as expected this is second method this alternative i haven't followed but if need we can we can we can we can follow okay let me show the my notepad you can get more info about the what are the necessary package to install to get this complete xfc desktop okay here you can see uh, I have installed the FreeBSD on the laptop with HFS file system. I have followed the HFS instead of the UFS. If need, you can follow the UFS. Okay. Then after I have installed the root, uh, I have created two user. One is root user, another one is normal user for the Hello, which is in the video and the wheel group. We have to add the video and the wheel group. I, I have added at the time of installation if not we can add add by these two commands I, I will provide these two then reboot the freebsd14 and login as root these are the important section to package to be installed okay i have installed these many packages but i will highlight what are the necessary package to be installed okay this is this one is sudo we have we need this one vim editor nano and a package manager xshark xfce light dm light gdk creator setting and xfce xfce goodies and xfce for base settings these xfce these all xfce for xfce for we need and xtg user directories these are important things okay we need to install then after these are the graphics driver intel graphics driver this one is the intel and amd latest graphics driver this will provide the intel and amd's latest graphics driver drm hyphen k mode okay once after installing the drm k mode we have to enable in the rc.conf file uh, that will show i will show it in step 4 okay this one is the network manager to get this wi-fi applet in the panel okay i have installed and the gaming is for the brightness controller you can see this will give the fight to control the brightness and wp supplicant is nothing but a text based wi-fi package okay wi-fi manager package i have installed i will show that one here let's type on l etc wps supplicant store okay this is this one is a active file i can't show this one because it will contain my wi-fi and the wi-fi password but this one is a backup file after installing i took the backup to show the content how it will be like this how it will be like this okay Control c and the cat so this is the entry we can see okay you have to edit after if there is any issue with Wi-Fi app like network manager that is if there is any issue with network manager we can install the WPS applicant okay then 
we can we have to edit uh, like this okay here you can in ssi ssid you have to put your ssid name for example if if uh, ssid your your ssid name is will be for pbst 3.1 means then you have to mention like this if there is any space in the ssid name you have to mention in the double quotation okay there is if there is any space we not, you not need to mention underscore just as like it is you have to mention for example uh, this many things we can see right for example this wifi name having the space right you just to enter the name here ssid name okay and you have to enter the password here in the double quotation and save it and restart the network manager then wifi definitely work 100% will work okay it's worked for me okay this is about the wps applicant i have installed the firebox chromium you can see firebox chromium obs studio simple screen recorder color paint also i have installed very color paint graphics yeah you can see color paint gimp uh, krita inkscape inkscape multimedia you can see cad and live open shot video editor vlc media player all those stuff okay transmission and uk also i have installed pencil 2d library abyss for the office um document contents document viewer document editor excel those kind of stuff we can use the libreoffice and a flame sort for the screen capturing tool i have installed the flame sort as well stellarium ocular pdf viewer ocular pdf viewer and the pgp gdk2 this is a zip archiver and extractor okay coming to the theme i have installed the zorian theme with the version of 2.99 we can install by the by searching like a sudo pkg yes yes search themes this many themes available but make sure to use correct themes if you install the mate themes it will install the meta uh, mate a mate desktop environment so there will be a boot issue so we that's we need uh, these themes that's okay for the complete desktop environment like zorian theme and ubuntu yaru dark themes okay it will deliver exact desktop environment okay and then after the most important thing we have to enable the dbus just to copy and paste the terminal to get this dbus enable in the at the time of boot okay and uh, this one will be driver path and driver name here you can see after installing the drmk mode we have to follow this this step to enable the driver at the time of boot so this is i90 91 by nothing but it is a intel graphics driver if you are using amd you can use these drivers in the rc.conf file okay uh, i let me i will show the rc.conf file content then we have to enable the this rc light dm like this is nothing but light desktop manager at the time this will enable the light dm manager at the time of boot this one we have to enable it okay these many steps we have to follow and uh, i will add the fs proc fs details in the fs tab as well okay then after i rebooted the my freebsd 14.0 i i got the 100% gui i i will log in logged in with the my normal account as well here you can see uh, let me show my the cat etc rc dot con of 
yeah i have enabled the or debus enable debus light dm and i915 for the uh, intel graphics driver because my laptop is intel based one that's why neo h you can see my nice intel pentium a1018 processor so i have installed the i9 i9 915 driver in the rc.conf file okay then after we have to reboot the desktop i got the 100 percentage desktop this is let me uh, i have locked in and i have locked in as user called uh, hello okay here is okay that's it this is how we have to get the free uh, xfc 4.18 desktop on the free bsd 14.0 release okay let me show the content desktop how it will be like this um, i have installed the vlc qubit torrent firebox chromium download managers such as transmission and ukit terminal desktop uh, we desktop wallpaper changer and the yaru ubuntu yaru packages yaru themes as well here you can see how the desktop and how the xfce will be it's neat and pretty clean okay office packages multimedia packages like uh, um, open shot video editor kd and live and uh, audio players internet you can see chromium and uh, firefox if need we can install falcon and uh, other browser as well okay i am okay with the firefox so i leave it as like it is and the graphics tools we can see in the educational we can see stellarium and the math development tools accessories and the system settings okay in system settings lots of things we can see i will change the appearance now we can see let me choose to this dark theme we can see what will happen like that yeah it theme got changed now right you can see so is it's working as expected okay so i am okay with the free bsd and xfc desktop environment okay it's simple and it's very clean and fast as expected okay yeah you know, i faced with a few issue while installing so the audio plug in it's not so on here so we have to add manually by panel and add a new item and you have to search pulse audio and you have to add click that and add it so it will show here okay similarly i have added the uh, network manager you have to install the uh, this package uh, where is that network manager and then we have to add it to in panel by searching it okay i think uh, once after install it will appear i guess here it will appear i guess okay and uh, I, yeah if there is any issue with uh, uh, brightness controlling just uh, install the kami G A M O Y. It will show here. Just adjust the brightness. If it is not worked, even the game is not worked, then you can follow the manually controlling the brightness by these commands. Okay, this will work as expected, but you have to make sure you should not set as zero. If you set zero, means it's completely dark. So you have to be careful. this will increase by 20 percentage this will decrease in the brightness by 20 percentage okay let me show here control c and uh, go to the terminal control c to v yeah i can see the brightness is decreasing okay i am not sure this will record in the video If you want to increase, you have to use INC here. INC here. Your brightness is now increasing. 
INC don't set it as 0 then it will be completely dark you have to find the command that will be very difficult okay don't set it as 0 okay this is a complete uh, free uh, xfc desktop environment here you can see i changing my wallpaper to some other thing by the verity desktop manager okay here you can see it looks like uh, ubuntu only right uh, because of the i got yaru dark themes i have installed the themes called uh, yaru dark yaru themes so it gives giving the what we need exactly okay in the pictures we can maintain maintain the pictures directory and downloads you can see lots of download downloaded contents okay and video we can see video also and uh, all of the packages working as expected there is no issue with the uh, uh, lagging or uh, not working kind of feel but i am okay this xfc completely sacrificing my need okay uh, VLC also working as expected. CAD and live video editor also there. Open shot video is also there. Okay, here you can see I am see I am recording this video by the simple videos, simple video, simple screen recorder only. So these are the steps we have to follow the XFCE 4.18 desktop on your FreeBSD 14.0 release. I will share these steps in the description. You can follow the same to get this XFCE desktop environment on your free BST 14.0. Okay. Let me change my another wallpaper. yeah i am okay with this one papa so i am stopping this video recording okay please like and comment yes comment if this video is really helpful to you and share this video if anyone needs xfc desktop environment on the freebie just 14.0 and 40.1 releases okay and uh, thank you for watching this video Please subscribe my channel as well. Thank you very much.